another edition of Lube Tips by Flow Components. On today's episode, we're going to discuss how to fill pump reservoirs on an automatic greasing system, the different options available to you, and the pitfalls to watch out for. With more on that, we go to Mike. Mike? Thanks, Gabriel. Today we're going to talk about the three ways of filling a grease reservoir, starting with the first way, which is called the cartridge unloader. Please keep in mind that you can get this from a, a couple of different suppliers. They all basically work the same. How it starts off with is you remove the plug from the top of the cartridge unloader. You remove the retainer. Pull the piston back. You have your standard grease cartridge. That slides in. You pull the cap off just like any other uh, grease gun or grease cartridge. You put the retainer back on. You come over to the reservoir. On the front of the reservoir there is an adapter. Some have it a plug, some have a thread around an adapter. You take the cap off, keeping in mind that you need to make sure that the inlet here and the adapter are clean, dirt, dirt free, no contamination because as soon as you push this in, you're going to put that contamination into the reservoir. This now threads on to the reservoir like this. Once it's threaded on, then grab the piston rod, push it through. It will then enter all the, contain uh, all the lubricant into the cartridge, into the grease reservoir. It is now complete. You unthread the cartridge on loader. Take the cap, put it back on the adapter, snug it up, take the empty cartridge out, put the cap back on here, put the plug in, and you're ready for the next time you fill the reservoir. The second way of filling up a grease reservoir is to use a standard grease gun or as we have here, a rechargeable uh, grease gun. Once again, it's cartridge, you have your coupler, and on the reservoir, there is always a coupler or a grease fitting to attach it to. Again, contamination is going to be your worst enemy on any loop system. You need to clean the coupler before you attach it and clean the grease fitting. Any contamination, any dirt that is on the uh, grease fitting, if you do not clean it, you then put it into the reservoir. You have the gun, come on to an angle, save your jaws from the coupler. Once it's connected, you pull the trigger until the grease has been emptied out of the cartridge and into your reservoir. To remove, come off on an angle, it to save the sealing surface of the grease fitting as well as your jaws on your coupler. Wipe your grease fitting, wipe your coupler, and you're done. The third way of filling the grease reservoir is from the original refinery. We have an air operated pump typically a 50 to 1 ratio air operated pump. You see this in a lot of garages and loop shops going through a hose into a high pressure control valve. The connection is basically the same. You wipe the fitting, you wipe the coupler, you put it on to the fitting, you pull the trigger. You hold the trigger open until the reservoir is filled. Once it's filled, Take it off on an angle, just like the grease guns, wipe the coupler, wipe the grease fitting, disconnect the air, and you're done. One thing you want to be aware of, that even though you've disconnected the air, you still have grease pressure in this line and in this control valve. With the air disconnected, you should always bleed the grease pressure back into the drum or into another container. So in conclusion, we look at these three different ways of filling grease reservoirs. Right. Please keep in mind, contamination, you have to eliminate any risk or any potential contamination of the lubricant getting into the reservoir. If your reservoirs come with removable lids, please do not take them off. As soon as you do that, you run the risk of contamination getting into the top, dirt, whatever the environment you're in, getting into the grease reservoir, that will get pumped into your system. And again, whenever you are making connection to the reservoir, with the cartridge unloader, the grease gun, or the pump, wipe both ends of the coupler and the fitting before making connection. Back to you, Gabriel.
Thanks for that, Mike. We hope you've enjoyed today's show. For more information and tips, you can go to our website, flowcomponents.com. Until next time, thanks for watching.